All right, we're going to test out this Duracell DRL JS20 jump starter. It has 1100 peak amps and it's very small as you can see. It's lithium ion batteries, so a lot of power in a small package. Um, it's, battery is completely disconnected. This is a 2009 Toyota Tacoma. It's clean in the terminal, so I thought I'd give this thing a try. It's completely disconnected from the battery to simulate a completely dead battery. I have, it's overnight cold, but I have started it just to test out this little Stanley Fat Max. That was the first jump starter I got, but I wanted something smaller for a marine application. Um, basically, this will be used to start a Volvo Penta 4.3 liter engine um, carburetor aspirated. So basically a Chevy engine. It's pretty similar in size to this Toyota, so we'll see how this works. Um, this, when you plug the cables into the unit, that green light starts to flash. And when you hook it up and once the engine's turned on, since I have it disconnected from the battery, it can't tell polarity right now. So when you hook it up, it'll probably go solid green. But once I turn the key on, it'll go solid green. So let's see how it works. Lights and fans and radio and everything is off as they recommend. Car went to on, all the lights and everything are going. It starts it, and you hear it beeping, see it flashing. That tells you that the car started and that you should basically disconnect it. But if I do that, it'll stall because it's disconnected from the battery. But it seems to work. You can charge it with a USB charger. I can even use my solar panels. That's pretty awesome.